You know, sometimes what's truly important is not always loud and clear until you face the worst of times. That's the compelling lesson from a local classroom. Tonight in a special report, The Sound of Life. News 13's John Lee went to one story and ended up following a family on a roller coaster of emotion. We thought we knew what the story was. Dr. Bob's Sound School is a project of the Bob Moog Foundation at Asheville and Buncombe Schools. But in the middle of all that noise, something a student said made us fall silent. It's a sound wave. They say you can't always believe what you hear in school. How do you think the sound goes from here to your ears? In this case, you have to listen closely. We first went to West Buncombe Elementary to see second graders raise ruckus in the name of science. Start the sound wave. But during our shoot, icy cold milk. It comes out. Someone compelling sound. popped up. Recreate sound. That's Garen shaking up our story. It creates vibrations in your throat, which turns into sound waves. And you know what we call those sound waves? What? what? Wiggles. We call them wiggles. But just when we thought he was there for comic relief, <laughs> everything changed the moment we asked Garen Greiner what his least favorite sound was, which led to the sound bite we never expected. The sound of somebody screaming. And it only took a brief burst of audio. She has chemo. To lead us to the visual we will never forget. Get you preoccupied, get your mind off of it. This is what the fight against cancer sounds like. Okay. My sister Jordan, she's in the hospital. Just five years old. Do you want to wait for your lunch? Facing leukemia. Mom Lisa fearing the worst. It's as though she's given up. And so each day I get up with a different, I, I, I pray for a different frame of mind. Listening for whispers of hope. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. We met them at Chapel Hill at the Ronald McDonald House, together on an island. My children have pretty balls. Nah, my head's cold. That's Jordy and Garen when she was when she was three years old, first diagnosed before she started losing hair. He is right there with her, trying to make her laugh, even though he's scared. That of spark of humor um, is Garen's gift and a source of strength for the whole family. My dad calls pure, really strong beefcake. All right. Hi, yeah. Now hours apart from Jordan, wishing she were there when he gets off the school bus. And she just screamed, Gary, and it just made me feel really special that she loved me. Sometimes he squeezes me and that's when he hugs. Garen would give anything for a life supply of hugs. I donate my bone marrow. And what I did is because of my sister. But even a 100% match is no guarantee. You're just getting standing up and the rug just yanked out from underneath you. Do you feel like moving yet? The leukemia returned okay. just as she started kindergarten. Jordy recently received her second bone marrow transplant, this time from someone outside the family. And she just stays upset because she's tired of hurting. So often, snuggled up in bed. Season two. Watching episodes of Full House. Longing for the family she sees on TV. Everybody being together in one house, she lives for that, lives for that. Thoughts of Garen bring them closer to home. I love you all the way out of the universe and back. She said she loves him all the way around the universe and back. Lisa, of course, longs for her son too. Mm -hmm. I want to get home as fast as I can. And I love you. She's a mother torn in so many directions. The road map to recovery leaves her lost. That's all. Lisa struggles like so many moms in the same position, filled with so much emotion, she can only drop her head. <laughs> I'm not surprised that he was the boy that you talked to in that classroom. He gets everybody's attention. And Let's go back to your tables real quick. Yippee! Remember, Garen first caught our eyes and ears by touching our hearts in the middle of a lesson about sound. So much more poignant yes. when we heard this. I want you to make the sound of her laughing and saying my name. He'd go to the end of the earth for Jordy. Long ride for him. 226 miles at a time to Chapel Hill. Yay! Bazinga. What more do you say? I said bazinga.
Bazinga. Her prescription for a bear hug finally filled. It's been a hard day for her health-wise, so she needed this big time. Maybe a smile transplant will make all the difference. What's up, Rishi? What's up? This story began with Garen's study of sound waves. In the worst of times, even everyday racket becomes music to our ears. <laughs> and when this is your window to the world, it sure means a lot to see Garen on the other side. They will forever have a bond. Forever his cells will run through her body. Forever and ever. <laughs> there is a chance that if Jordan needs another transplant down the road, they will turn to Garen again. Their mother, Lisa, hopes to have Jordan at home in the next few months. Wishing the best for Jordan. Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully he's good. Right. He's good therapy he's a, for he's her. He's a good big brother. He's a wonderful big brother. Yeah, it's a great, great story.